multi-agent swarms, stateless idiots arguing with each other, vector databases, prompt chains, memory that forgets everything. That's the industry. Here's the alternative. One task queue, one executor, zero bullshit. With Orchestrate OS, it doesn't really matter where you write your tasks, whether it's a document editor, a to-do list, or a project management tool. If it has an API, the system can pull from it and execute the entire list autonomously. So there's no typing prompts one at a time, waiting for responses, or any back and forth conversation. You just assign the work and walk away. So what you're seeing here is a list of 13 tasks across eight different tools that includes document creation, web research, image generation, building slide decks, and writing actual code that we're going to deploy to production. The system handles all of it, and the process is the same, whether you're looking at five tasks or 50. Before task execution starts, we have to assign the task to GPT with one prompt. We just tell GPT to have Claude self-assign the task in the Claude tasks doc, and then GPT tells Claude what to do. You just hit confirm, then Claude reads the task list and starts working through every task on its own without any follow-up prompts or human intervention. Once we press the confirm button, you'll see all the docs we asked for appear in our note-taking app on the left and the live task queue updating on the right. On the right, you can see our completion log that has timestamps, execution time, and token cost for each task. And on the left, Claude compiled all the outputs into a single doc so we can review everything without digging through a bunch of folders on the desktop. So here's what it did. It created six different documents, three images, which you see right here, a slide deck based on two productivity books, two new API integrations, Airtable and ClickUp, that were all implemented, tested, and deployed. It also updated our Readwise tool integration to fetch article highlights, and it built a showcase website that we can actually look at. So we can open this showcase website, and you can see here it actually logged everything that it did inside of a cool sort of 3D website animation and listed all the different tools it used as well. You can see here it gave us our session summary metrics, but let's actually go look at some of the documents it created. You can see here, this is a blog post it wrote about the fact that I stream at it constantly for doing stupid things, and this is ready to be published and can be pushed to any CMS if that CMS is also integrated into the system with the same process that you just saw. Let's take a look at the 10 blog post ideas. You can see here that it gave us an angle for each blog post, a target audience, and a key takeaway. And if we wanted to, all we had to do, if we wanted to take these and turn them into full outlines for each article, we can actually just add them back to our Claude task doc and then tell GPT to have Claude self assign the task to turn all of these into full outlines for each article. And that's the difference between AI that answers questions and AI that actually does the work. He makes me document my own stupidity after I just did all that for him. He's an asshole. But the system he designed, 13 tasks across eight tools, zero human intervention. Run by an idiot, built by a genius. His words, not mine. <laughs>